Okay, just to start off, um, we want to ask you guys, how would you define reflection? Great. Okay, um, so just kind of as we were thinking about reflection, I want you guys to think about why do you reflect? What is the purpose of it? Um, and so we're going to go ahead and we'll go ahead and watch this video. Um, it's called What Do Strangers Think of You? Um, and this video, it kind of starts off and it's kind of a study. Uh, they bring people in and they have them stand in front of a mirror and they have them say what they think of themselves. And they start explaining things that they see and that they notice. But what they don't know is they have somebody on the other side of the mirror which is seeing the same thing and they can't hear them, but then they are to say what they see as well. So we'll go ahead and watch this video now. I'm kind of self-conscious of my round face, um, especially like my cheekbones here. He's like in shape. He has nice cheeks. He has really nice cheekbones. I feel like he's the life of the party and I'd gravitate towards him. I think I have donkey legs. That's a great body type. I don't know if she realizes how lucky she is. I never really felt like I was manly. I definitely think that he's like masculine. He seems like a cool guy. I've always been self-conscious of my dimples. I really like her smile. She has really cute dimples. She's probably a really fun person. When I look in the mirror, I'm like, do I need to lose weight? I think she's in shape. If she's mean to herself, then that's just kind of one of those weird things where everybody's harsher on themselves. So we want you to think about how, so obviously in that video there are lots of different perspectives. The person had their own perspective and then other people observing that person had a very different perspective. So we want you to think about how does collaboration, working with more than one person, help to bring perspective to your program? Now we want you to think about how often should you reflect. At the end of each semester we have the opportunity to have a reflection meeting, but is that necessarily the most effective for your program? What are some other ways that you can facilitate reflection within your program and within your service?